Remember when the mantra of the Democratic Party was, my body, my choice? Now, it's your body, Biden's choice. The Biden switcheroo. Remember yeah. just one short year ago really when we had a president a who could speak for a full hour answering very, any question from very, any very reporter good. on you COVID? This to what's happening around the world. We're very proud of our people. But we have a new president now, President Joe Biden, when he wasn't calling President Donald Trump a mass murderer over COVID deaths. Biden, as a candidate and as president-elect, went out of his way to praise the brave health care workers who, even when a vaccine was still in development, the brave health care workers of this country showed up for work every day and risked their lives to minister to people who were dying of COVID. Biden rightly praised the health care workers as a candidate for president and then president-elect. All these difficult decisions people are going to be making, we got to give them hope. We got to give them hope. And I believe there is reason for optimism. Granted, it could come quicker if we'd move quicker, but there is, it, there is hope on the way. Not because of me. I'm not like, ah, oh, you know, hope's on the way. We're all making extraordinary, you're all making extraordinary sacrifices and you're bearing a significant amount of the stress. And that is worsened by, I think, the mismanagement of this virus thus far. And I want you to know first and foremost how grateful, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, how grateful I personally am and my family is to all of you. All of you. You've done so damn much. And I want to thank you. And as, uh, as president, and I'm going to fight as hard as I can, as hard as you're fighting for your communities. But once he took office... We saw a different side of President Biden. Biden began demanding that if you were a health care worker, you were the problem. You were the enemy. Biden stated last month that nursing home staff need to be vaccinated. If you work in a nursing home and serve people on Medicare or Medicaid, you will also be required to get vaccinated. More than 130,000 residents in nursing homes have had, sadly, over the period of this virus, passed away. When the President of the United States gives executive orders to that effect, he's not simply stating his opinion. What Biden was saying was these nursing homes would lose their funding if their staff was not fully vaccinated. This was a direct threat to nursing home workers that they would lose their jobs. The government has not always been right when it comes to COVID and nursing homes. Recall how New York Governor Andrew Cuomo rammed COVID patients into New York's nursing homes, causing unnecessary deaths among New York's elderly. Now, in September 2021, we come full circle where the interim governor of New York has ordered that any health care worker in the state of New York will lose their jobs this coming week if they don't get vaccinated with no exceptions. But we begin with that vaccine mandate for healthcare workers that's about to go into effect. Beginning this Monday, all healthcare workers statewide must have at least one dose of the vaccine. Anyone without it risks losing their job. Governor Hochul saying this week, the state will be working with hospitals to quickly replace those workers so there is no gap in patient care. When you give a Democrat governor or a Democrat president unrestricted rights over your life and your choices, that Democrat will take every bit of power that you give them until there's nothing left for you. It doesn't matter if you were a health care worker saving lives last year without a vaccine. They praised you last year, but now Democrats call you the enemy if you are a health care worker. What happened? What happened was health care workers and their, told all their friends to vote Democrat. They told their friends, vote for Joe Biden. He cares. Does he know? Thank you. We're not monsters. We're not selfless. We're trying to do the what is at the best interest for our families. You're allowed to finish your shift if you're working on Monday. But after that, you basically are saying that you will be involuntary, involuntarily resigning. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs>